The Beer Ambassador OC here, and I'm in Laguna Beach, California today. You can see the beautiful weather in the background on the hills. I'm with Brent Renard of Laguna Beach Beer Company, and um, I know it's been in the works for uh, for uh, two or three years here, but you guys are finally yeah. going to open up the location here in Laguna Beach. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're excited? Absolutely. This is uh, this was the dream all along to open a place in Laguna. Um, the spot in, in Rancho kind of fell in our lap a couple years ago, so we, we jumped on that to have a production facility. But this is going to be our marquee location. Uh, we're really excited about it. It's been a long time coming. And you're supposed to open up hopefully next weekend? Yeah, we're shooting for Memorial Day, week and a half, um, as long as we don't get thrown any curveballs that should happen. Awesome. So tell me how you went from home brewer to professional you know, opening yeah. up your own company, yeah. entrepreneur, you know, it's really tough to open your own business and stay open, you, but you've made it past the first year and you guys are making certain milestones yeah. to be able to stay open and, and do well. So it was, it was very difficult. Um, but uh, I've been home brewing for about 10 years and immediately fell in love with the art and science of brewing. Um, and just, you know, had a dream of opening a brewery one day. So in 2013, uh, June, uh, started the Laguna Beach Beer Company and uh, started contracting for a little while, which is very difficult. Um, it's you know not very well received in the market these days, um, but then just kept pushing and persevered and eventually um, had the spot uh, fall in our lap in RSM. So we opened a, a brewery out there. Um, that's our production facility. And now after several years, we're finally opening our spot in Laguna. That's awesome. So let's before I ask other questions, why don't you kind of give us a little tour or sure. walk inside here? So um, you have this nice patio out here on the on, on the parking lot area. Yep. So we have uh, maybe about 12, 13 seats outside um, with a great view, obviously, and a yep. roll-up door behind. So it's going to be cool. a very open and airy uh, type of environment. Uh, we have a 24 tap draft system and a nice big bar here and another roll-up door, as you can see on the other side there. Yes. So, what's the what's the square footage and the capacity here for people? So, uh, it's about 2,600 square feet. We have a seating capacity of 82. 82. And how? And let's look over here. So, this is the cool part, people. You're getting to see this. They're going to open up in like a week and a half, and you're getting to see uh, what's going on over here. So, look, you're, there's a bunch of taps. Right. Going to be beer. There. So yeah. How many taps are going to have there? <laughs> 24 taps. 24 and taps. We'll open with about. Uh, 16 to 18 of our own beers that we make out at RSM, and the rest are going to be guest taps from other local breweries that uh, we've become friends with. That's very nice. So, what um, what has been the like the biggest challenge uh, going from home brewer to professional to have to be an entrepreneur, open up your own business? Sure. Um, well, there's there's a lot of challenges. Um, just business in general, the uh, the financial side of actually making and selling beer is is uh, difficult to gain traction and, and get to a break-even point. Um, so I always tell people that are kind of going down the road that I went down to really look at your financials and make sure that you have a very good understanding of, of cash flow and, and what it really takes financially to get yeah. something open. Um, obviously, when you do projects like this, it takes longer and it costs more. You know, Everybody always says that, but in the, this industry, it's it's very, very true. And you know, although I did my homework and I had a lot of people to lean on, you know, it was still a difficult challenge to yeah. get to where we are. But, but you didn't give up. And that's no. the thing, right? That's, you have a passion for something, you don't give up. I'm sure there's a lot of challenges, falling down, hard yeah. days, but, but you love beer, you have a passion for beer. That's right, that's right. You just go, you have to persevere. And um, for me, I didn't have a backup plan, so this was it. <laughs> and so I had to make it work. Um, you know, I have a family with kids, and um, one way or another it was, it was gonna happen. And I did stub my toe. We did make some some you know poor choices here and there, but we uh, we figured it out eventually. Um, we corrected, and cool. now we're on a good path. Man, I love that about brewers and entrepreneurs. So let me ask you. Um, I know you got lots of beers, and you're excited. You were telling me about the capacity and, and what you guys are doing. What's your favorite beer that you are drinking on your tap lineup right now? Um, well, our, our brewer, Brendan Maxim, is, uh, is incredible. He's, he's a master of every style that we've asked him to make, and he does a lot of specialty beers that he comes up with. And um, right now, um, all the rage is the hazies, and i got to say I love his, his double, double hazy. Double hazy? Yeah. It's, it's I'll delicious. have to try that one. And, yeah, we also have some barrel-aged beers that we're, we're working on right now that uh, we're going to 
be carbonating our first batch uh, in a couple of weeks. So um, I think it's, you know, we're gonna have some really good specialty things coming out soon too. That's awesome. So um, what, what can you give uh, people to take away? Why, they, why do they wanna, why do you wanna come check out Laguna Beach Beer? Well, you know, we've been trying to uh, create an environment and experience that's, that's different than uh, just a normal tap room. So we have our, you know, our roll up doors, we wanted to bring the outside in. It's a family friendly place. Um, and we wanted to create just a fun environment for the locals and, and tourists alike. Um, of course, we always have plenty of beer uh, choices for everybody. We have uh, wine that we'll be serving too, since we have a pizza oven. So um, we have got great food. I'm looking forward to the beer and pizza. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've, we've got a really good chef too. He's, he's come up with some great uh, pizza and, and uh, sandwiches and things like that. So it's it's going to be all about the experience. Cool. So you were telling me you're home brewing for. Ten years. Ten years. Mm -hmm. Ten years. So, uh, what was the beer that took you into home brewing? I mean, there had to be a beer experience. What was your first craft beer? Actually, what was your first beer ever? And then first beer ever, because <laughs> I like this question. And then your first craft beer that made you decide I want to home brew, and then you mm -hmm. know that turned into becoming a professional. Um, sure, you know, sure. Brewery. Um, <laughs> my first beer ever was Mickey's. Believe it or not, I won't say. Did you how... like it? <laughs> <laughs> no, not no. really. Okay. Um, and uh, I won't say how old I was. Um, yeah, well, it, that's that's a different thing. <laughs> we're not we're, listen. We're not. I'm not condoning underage drinking, but <laughs> there are other grandfather laws and people. You need to try it. Shouldn't be binge drinking because you never got to drink. Should be 18. Anyways, that's a different story. But yeah, let's go. So, so Nikki's, uh, you didn't really like it. Yeah, yeah. I was. Yeah, and it was. You know, it was just for fun with friends. But yeah. anyway, when uh, what really got me into it was kind of the, the beginning of the, you know, the, the craft beer movement and, and getting into IPAs and things. Um, but I went to business school at UCI and I actually did my, um, my thesis on a, a uh, zot zot, because I'm, I'm an alumni. Okay. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Um, so I actually was down in Vietnam and went to the uh, Miller Brewery down there and oh. spent two weeks down there and just I did my project on, on that brewery, fell in love with the whole operation and thought this was going to be something I'm going to do. Very cool. And so that's when I said, I think, you know, this homebrewing thing is, can be a little bit more than just homebrewing. Okay. Um, so. So, but that was, that was the beer? That was the, that was the that beer was the or experience just the experience? What, that, was, what was like the gateway beer that brought you, like, I got a homebrew mm -hmm. and now this has become a lifestyle for you? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you know, I think it was probably, gosh, you know, probably, you know, Stone IPA was yeah. something I liked. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, for those who haven't heard listened to the show, but most of you know, for me, Guinness and Sierra Nevada. Mm -hmm. Gateway beers to mm -hmm. really good beer. Yeah, Sierra Nevada definitely. Yeah, yeah. I, I still drink that from time to time. For sure. Yep. Cool. Well, I want to say, you know, thanks for being uh, on Beer Ambassadors with me, the Beer Ambassador. Uh, yeah, come, thanks for having me. Come check out. Come uh, check, yeah, come check out the Laguna Beach Beer Company down here on Canyon Road, 859 Laguna Canyon Road. Uh, we'll be open very soon and 11 a.m., 11 p.m. all summer. All right, guys. Until Thank next you. time, drink good beer, eat good food, hang out with good people, and drink more good beer. Cheers. Adios.